Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to show you how to plant 5,000 flower seeds for just one dollar. For the past few years, I've planted these seed mixes from the dollar store. This one is specifically for hummingbirds. Oh, hummingbird. Wow. This has at least 21 different types of flowers. And some of these, like the poppies, come in a wide variety of colors. And here's a quick look at what we can expect from this mix. It's best to plant these in full sun. Ideally, you want somewhere flat so that the seeds don't get washed away in the rain. And just this one box should cover about 100 square feet. We'll be following the instructions on the box. First, raking over the soil to loosen it. And we just want to loosen up the first inch or so of soil. Make sure to clear any weeds if you see them. And I'm being extra careful not to hurt our perennials. I'm gonna get rid of these acorns too. Jeez, look at the root on that one. Then we simply sprinkle on our seeds and pat them down. There we go. And this is our mix. Just this one box contains at least 5,000 seeds. Now most of this is filler. Only 12% is actually flower seed. This filler actually helps us see where we've planted our seeds, and it helps thin them out so they're not too close together. It's up to you how thick you want to sprinkle them on, but I just like to do a little dusting. This is a little too crowded here, so we'll just spread that out. And because of the extremely small size of these seeds, some of them don't even need to be buried just tapped into the soil. You can even step on them. And at this stage, it doesn't harm the seeds at all. You can also just lightly fluff them into the surface of the soil. And for the really delicate areas or places where there's already seedlings sprouting, I do the no dig method, where you can sprinkle just a little bit of soil or compost right over the top. Just lightly cover them. Now we want to water these in immediately so they can start to germinate. And we want to keep them moist for the next week or so. You do want to be careful with how much you water. You can actually wash your seeds out if you water too much. To help keep them moist, we can mulch with some shredded dried leaves. I like to shred them so that they still allow a little bit of sunlight and that those little tiny seedlings can still poke through. These mixes are really ideal for flat, sunny areas, but you can plant them on a slight slope or even around other perennials or seedlings. I've even planted them in containers.
I've got to get back to the dollar store and see if I can pick up a couple more of these mixes. For only a dollar, planting 5,000 seeds is surprisingly simple. So I hope you stay tuned to see the results. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates. And maybe give this a grow in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.